three, two, one, ignition. Have you ever seen a rocket launch? They're happening more and more frequently in California, Florida, Texas, not to mention in locations all around the world. So odds are pretty good that you can see one from your home or within a short day trip. I wanna show you how I shot a recent SpaceX launch, how I processed the images, what I did wrong, and finally, how I track launches so I never miss one. Ready? Let's dive in. I decided to go on a tripod with a remote trigger, which might have been my first mistake. I could have gone handheld here. And then I pull up the SpaceX live feed. Three, two, one, ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9. Go Starlink, go SpaceX. And then after ignition, I simply look to the horizon and wait for this. That little dot that appears over the horizon is the rocket. And it's incredible, incredible to see where you see it live on the live stream and then see it in person as it starts to fly through the sky. And that little dot turns into a full sky light show. When we have a launch at sunset like this, which isn't particularly common, so really, really special when this happens. So now let's look at how some of these images were processed. These were shot on my Canon 5D Mark IV with the Canon 28 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 lens. This is my favorite shot, I think, and you can see here is the unedited version, and then this was my my first stab at taking an edit of it. So here's what I did: uh, I cropped this to a 4:3 aspect ratio, which I just really like for the shot. But that's all that I've done. And I think what I would do to process this, it doesn't take much. First thing I would do is go into masking and select the sky. I wanna warm up that sky a little bit just to bring out some of that sunset color that was there. And to do that, I'm gonna pull down the highlights in this one. I'm gonna bring the contrast up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go down here to the color area and I'm just going to grab the temperature slider and just move that up a little bit. And that is where we start to get that nice glow of sunset that really highlights this rocket launch, which I think looks pretty cool. You can see that that foreground is pretty dark, and I don't want to go overboard too much here, but I can duplicate and invert the sky mask so we have just the foreground selected. And then I could bring up the shadows a little bit, just bring a little bit of that foreground back. I could bring up the whites just a little bit. And I think this is where I went overboard on that first edit because I brought up the temperature, but maybe just a little too much because it started to give it a little bit of a green hue. But then if you want to get rid of that green hue, you have your tint here, so you can just pull in some magentas, which might make it a little bit more balanced. And I mean, as simple as that, we've got an image that I think looks pretty cool. And I can see in the other one, I may have brought that temperature up just a little bit more, and I may have added in a little bit of that magenta. This shot turned out super well. So that's really all I would do to process this image, just a couple of quick adjustments. and. I think it looks pretty darn cool. Um, the next one I wanted to show you was this. This is zoomed in just more, obviously, but I was still on my tripod, still with a 28 to 70 millimeter lens. This is where I wish I would have gone handheld for sure, because if we look at our settings, this was shot at 70 millimeters, so all the way in on the 28 to 70, one sixth of a second F4 ISO 100. So. What I should have done on this shot is I could have pulled down the aperture to f2.8, which would have given me a little bit more room on the shutter speed. But even if I didn't do that, if I would have pumped that shutter speed up, I could have gotten a much crisper shot here because when you zoom in, it's not super sharp and there is noise and I'm not concerned about it. I could run a denoise, but I'm not going to. It's a photograph and photos have noise, so not a huge deal to me. If I would have brought that shutter speed up to get a crisper shot, which is what I wanted to do anyway, and I should have done, and that probably should have been at least 1 250th of a second, maybe even faster, I don't know, I, should, I would have experimented with it a little bit more. But I would have brought the aperture down to 2.8, brought that shutter speed up to 1 250th, and then the ISO would have been whatever it needs to be. It might have been 1,000, might have been 2,000, might have been 4,000, I don't know. But whatever that number needed to be to compensate for that faster shutter speed, it would have helped get this a much crisper shot. And then I could have run a denoise if I need to, just depending on just how noisy it was. But that's what I would have done on this one. Still a cool shot, not perfect. Next time, 
I will try to do a little bit better and I think maybe even pull out the 70 to 200 millimeter lens because that would really let me focus in on this area of the rocket and get that really cool detail in the exhaust plume here. And then after the rocket has launched, it leaves that really cool contrail. And so you can just kind of see what I did here. This was a longer exposure on the tripod. They're really cool. It just kind of shows that afterglow of the sunset and that lingering vapor trail in the sky from the SpaceX rocket. Just really rad. So there's my SpaceX rocket launch adventure. There's another one coming up later this week. And to track them, I use an app called Next Space Flight. So check that out because it'll show you some really cool stuff like uh, like here, I'll, I'll pull it up and show you. But, but here you can see what's coming up by which company. Your Starlink one is gonna launch one uh, this coming week. You can just see where it's gonna launch from. You can look about the rocket. It'll tell you a little bit about the mission. And it's just, it's cool. You don't miss a launch that way. And it shows you launches all around the world. So whether you are in California or Florida or China, you're gonna see what's coming up. So make sure to get that app if you're interested in shooting rocket launches and leave a comment. Show me what you have posted or if you have links to anything that you've done, I wanna check them out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. There's more adventures coming. I hope you'll join me and I will see you next time.